God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we are blessed to be in your presence. We are thankful for blessing us with your presence. Though we are unworthy, yet you come always to bless us. Yet we are unworthy of your love, yet you love us unconditionally. Lord Jesus, we are filled with gratitude for having blessed us with another day, with another opportunity, with another chance. Give us the grace that we make use of this another opportunity to reflect your love, to reflect your care and concern. That we become another Christ to our brothers and sisters who are searching for meaning in their lives. Lord, we love you. We praise you and we adore you. Lord Jesus, today we pray for all the disabled people. We pray, Lord, that we who are blessed with abilities may show love, respect, care and concern for our disabled brothers and sisters. May we never put them down. We pray for all those institutions who are working selflessly towards the growth of our disabled brothers and sisters. We ask you, Lord, to bless all the brothers and sisters, all the blessed souls, with your grace, with your courage, and with good health. Bless their good work that they are doing. We also pray, Lord, that our disabled brothers and sisters may never look down upon themselves, but always look up to you. And may they realize that everything comes from you. Jesus, as we surrender ourselves and very especially our dear disabled brothers and sisters, we ask you to touch them, give them a positive understanding and bless all the brothers and sisters who are working selflessly. We raise our hearts and minds, dear Jesus, to you in gratitude for all your love, your care and concern that you show us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you for having blessed us with a lot of abilities. May we always use this ability to uplift those who are burdened with disabilities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, give us the grace, give us the strength to always uplift and never to look down upon any person, but to lift them in and through our words and our actions hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus for having given me all the abilities thank you jesus for creating me in your fullness thank you jesus praise you jesus help me jesus help me jesus guide me jesus to become an ability for my brother and sisters to 
overcome their disability hallelujah praise to jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 praise to jesus thank you jesus adore you jesus we love you jesus my dear brothers and sisters as we are in this beautiful moment wherein we are in the presence of our savior jesus let's spend few moments in silence just enjoying and relishing the presence of my savior jesus my dear brothers and sisters psalm 85 is a prayer of a poor man in time of trouble saint paul in his second letter to corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4 he says blessed be god who comforts us in all our sorrows as we recite this psalm let us pray for our brothers and sisters who are disabled especially those brothers and sisters who have closed their doors for all the possibilities who have locked themselves in the fear of the disability we pray that the lord god through the institutions through the holy souls who are working zealously may comfort our brothers and sisters who are disabled in their sorrow let us pray as we recite the psalm 85 Give joy to your servant Lord God for to you I lift up my soul Turn your ear O Lord and give answer for I am poor and needy Preserve my life for I am faithful Save the servant who trust in you You are my God have mercy on me Lord for I cry to you all the day long Give joy to your servant O Lord for to you I lift up my soul O Lord you are good and forgiving full of love to all who call give heed O Lord to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice in the day of distress i will call and surely you will reply among the gods there is none like you O Lord nor work to compare with yours all the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name O Lord for you are great and do marvelous deeds you who alone are god show me lord your way so that i may walk in your truth guide my heart to fear your name the proud have risen against me ruthless men seek my life to you they pay no heed but you god of mercy and compassion slow to anger o lord abounding in love and truth turn and take pity on me o give your strength to your servant and save your handmaid son show me a sign of your favor that my foes may see to their shame that you console me and give me your help glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning as now and ever shall be world without end amen give joy to your servant lord for to you i lift up my soul let us now with an open heart and mind listen to the words of our savior scripture reading a reading from the book of job chapter 1 verses 21 and 2 and 10 naked i came from my mother's womb naked i shall return the lord gave the lord has taken back blessed be the name of the lord if we take happiness from god's hand must we not take sorrow too the word of god thanks be to god dear friends today as we are 
praying for our disabled brothers and sisters. If you know any brother or sister in your locality or in your own family, if you have someone, I request you to kindly surrender them into the loving presence of our Savior Jesus as we recite this healing prayer. Let us pray. God of compassion, in Jesus Christ you cared for those who are blind and deaf, lame and dumb, crippled and slow to learn. Do all of us need help? Gift the ungifted and the disabled with special care, particularly those for whom now we pray. By our concern may they know the love you have for them and come to trust you fully. Through Jesus Christ you came to heal, open our eyes and touch our hearts that we may see and do both for this world and for that which is to come, the things that make for lasting peace. The time is coming when matters will not be measured by the talent or the ability or by fine clothes or by power to speak or by power of plenty. But the time is coming when matters will be measured by those who have the truest faith, the deepest love and the most sincere acts of obedience to their Lord and Savior and most devoted and strong imitation of his blessed example. Lord Jesus, we surrender to you, our disabled brothers and sisters, asking you to bless them with a positive outlook towards life. We also pray for all our brothers and sisters who are working in various ways to uplift them and give them a positive and right understanding. Bless all of them with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Bless all of them with a fresh understanding. Bless all of them with good health of mind, body and soul. Mary, a loving mother, do intercede for our inter intercession of today for our disabled brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, we ask you to nourish and to bless our disabled brothers and sisters. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us surrender our prayers and petitions before the Lord as we recite the prayer our Savior taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. In your wisdom you created us, by your providence you rule us. Penetrate our inmost being with your holy light, so that our way of life may always be one of faithful service to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. My dear brothers and sisters, let us once again surrender ourselves, our prayers and petitions, and let's bow to receive God's blessings.
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.